Hey, 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 welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for tuning in to Queen's Corner with your girl, Akola Edwards. And as you can see by the title today, I'm gonna take you on a little story time adventure of how your girl almost got scammed. Yes, scam. So pull up a chair, grab you some popcorn, wine cooler, or whatever, and let's get into this tea on how I almost got scammed. Let's it's better than yours, damn right. It's better than yours. I can teach you, but I have to charge my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and their life. It's better than yours, damn right. It's better than yours. I can teach you, but I hope that you want it. So by now, if you haven't, please make sure you smash that thumbs up button and like this video and subscribe to your girl's channel. So, this past week, I got a check in the mail and I was like, where in the world and who in the heck decides to want to send me some money? I don't remember signing up for anything. I don't remember doing any special events or projects that anybody would want to send me some mail. My husband comes walking in. It was almost like 9 o'clock at night with this big ass envelope. Big ass envelope from USDS. It was balled up like this in the mailbox. He says, hey, you got a package. I'm like, oh, this one? So, I was uh, like, okay, let me, let me, let me, let me see what it is. And my husband, he was still in the room with me. And boom. A little check for I mean, let me block all this stuff out for y'all people that might try to go on <laughs> and try to for two thousand dollars and some change. Now you know. We got the jumping for joy, happy, happy, joy, joy, because times are hard right now. Inflation is real. <laughs> Bills are getting behind for some of us. You know, not all of us. Good for those that aren't. But the struggle is real for your girl. But let's just keep it all the way 100. So, my husband was like, oh, man, man this would keep us, get us all caught up on everything, blase, blase, blase. But the good of me was like, babe, who in the hell gonna send me two thousand plus dollars? I don't remember signing up for anything. This and this and that, this and that. My husband like, who cares? Whatever, it's money. We're gonna be caught up on everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You make sure you go treat yourself. You've been working so hard. Blase, blase, blase. And the whole entire time, my husband jumped for joy, screaming, hollering, and whatever. In the back of my mind was like, the, it's almost like the good angel and the bad <laughs> the devil on the shoulder. The devil on the shoulder like, bitch, go catch that mug in the morning. And then the other side of me like, no, we ain't trying to be in no scammy scam scams and get caught up for nobody BS. So the more I pondered on it, and for those that have not gotten to know me yet, I'm a very religious person. I, I believe in the power of prayer. And I'm like, Lord, I got to pray on this. I don't understand. I'm not going to question it if it's your will and so forth. But I was like, no, this don't even much seem right. Who in the world in their right mind going to send me $2,800? I don't remember signing up for anything, this, that, and the third. So the more I thought about it, I stayed up all the way to 2 o'clock in the morning trying to figure this out because it bothered my spirit just that bad like who in the world finna send me this money my husband he went to bed with a smile on his face he's like yes you know like because it's coming close his payday money tight you know he's the only person that's working right now so money is tight so we really have to count our coins in this household <laughs> so he was like yes it was like a little stress relief factor for him and for me i'm not gonna lie Part of me like was like really, really that it would eliminate some of the stress of the things that we're dealing with right now, personally. So I was like, no, 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 no. So I started going through my emails, even my spam folder, and lo and behold, was this email from this man, and I'm gonna post it on the screen right here of what he wrote. 
was saying that um he was from this company called Market Source, and they were gonna give me an advance on doing these uh, mystery shopping uh, projects for them, and that the mail would be coming in, the package would be coming in the mail in a few days with the tracking number that was on this envelope, and it matched. I was like, okay, whew. So I was like, okay, well, I don't remember signing up for that after I found out who it was from. So I got to dig in even more. So I Googled Market Source. I started looking through their platform and come to find out they are one of the leading companies that has been getting a lot of people that pretend to be them and scamming people. So I was like, ding, 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 ding. Thank you, Lord, for putting this in my spirit. So I went down to the contact us part of the uh, website for Market Source, and I reached out to the customer service, and I got a response back via the next business day from the company. And I'm gonna leave that email right there, and it was just saying, "Dear Miss Edwards, thank you for reaching out, blase, 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 and we would never pay in advance for any projects that we." uh put you on and thus forth um they have a lot of people out there that's you know constantly pretending to be us i provided them with everything from the screenshots of the email to the copy of the check and everything um i even had got a text message from them and i didn't even see that because i have a, a spam filter on my text messages and it was saying well as soon as you get the package in the mail please respond saying ready to start on something on along the line i'll leave that uh text message on the screen as well so i was like i'm not contacting nobody for y'all to be trying to hack my phone or any anything else so my spirit was so right and it, it goes to show you don't be misled by what's in your spirit i got stamped years ago young and naive from another company it wasn't this this particular situation and i deposited the check into my checking account and that's what they wanted me to do they wanted me to deposit this check into a checking account not go and cash it deposit it so they could wipe my checking account out if i hadn't any money in there and have me in the red on tom dick and harry not today boo so I was so glad that I thought with my right mind on not going and cashing this check or doing anything stupid like depositing this money into my account. My husband, <laughs> my poor husband was so overwhelmed by this situation. I was like, I called him up when he was at work the next day because I had got the email back from the company. I was like, man, <laughs> it was a scam. It was a scam. He said, oh, Lord. He said, well, I'm glad you didn't get caught up in any situation like that, but it sure would have been nice. I say, I know wishful thinking, <laughs> wishful dreaming or whatever, but I just want you guys to be on the lookout. Inflation is real. These scammers are coming in any kind of way to scam you and rob you of what you're out here working hard for. And I mean, it's a shame the way the world is coming to that way how hard it is to just even make ends meet these days gas is up food prices are up rent up mortgage up everything is just going up into flames so i mean i want you, you guys to just be on the lookout be alert and always follow that bright mind that's telling you that something isn't right you know because this could have really ended up bad for us you know my husband he gets his check deposited into our joint account so if I would have put that money in that account, everything that we work for, and, and especially him, because he's the majority breadwinner, would have went just went away, and we would have really been looking crazy in the face, all because somebody wanted to scam us and send us this little funky check right here. I didn't throw it away. I I just want to look at it. <laughs> But you know, like, I just wanted to show you guys and share with you guys about the experience of how we almost got scammed. 
things are just crazy. I'm, I'm like so blessed, so thankful that I followed the right mind and not the wrong mind this time on how we almost got scammed. So, if you enjoyed this story time, be sure again to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more lifestyle vlogs, story time vlogs, business tips, and more on your girl's queen corner. Next time, thanks for watching. Bye.